Hello guys and welcome back to Pole J Vlogs. It is officially three days till the first day of school. Yeah. <laughs> so to sort of like wrap up the summer break, I just wanted to like go over, you know, my highlights of the summer, what I've been up to, where I've been, what have I been doing? I did another video like this last summer and I think it's only appropriate to do another video like this again. I also wanted to explain, you know, a bit of kind of like the lack of content this summer. Although I will also say that if you haven't watched my short film, called Expedition, it's the video before this, please go watch it because it basically kind of like encompasses the feelings I had this summer. I wanted to talk a bit about the summer break and just what I've been up to and sort of like what I'm looking forward to, not looking forward to for the coming school year, aka next week. <laughs> so if you guys are new to this channel, Hello, my name is Josiah Pohl. I am a 21 year old anxious Gen Z -er who does YouTube and digital art. <laughs> um, so that's me. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? So really happy to be filming videos again. I wanted to film this sit down video for you guys just to explain, you know, again, what I've been doing this summer and what I've been up to. Starting out the summer, um, you know, things were looking good. Things were looking kind of nice. In terms of this thing, you know, cases were like steadying out a bit. I'm really fortunate to have the opportunity to be vaccinated as well as many of my close friends, such as Hannah and Madeline, which I went on to South Carolina with this summer. Condition in the paces. That was cute. And also just <laughs> Honestly, that was such like a coming of age trip, such the indie vibes were real. It was very much journey into adulthood type vibes. And I enjoyed it, I really did. It was probably one of the happiest moments I've had this summer. Cause you know, the world is crazy right now. I definitely, I personally want more happy moments, but it's, it's kind of impossible with just the way things are right now. And cause you know, we could have prevented this thing I had the opportunity to see my oldest sister from California. She she hasn't been able to like visit our family in a long time for very obvious reasons because you know, we're kind of in like a worldwide panoramic right now. Finally had the opportunity to see her this summer. She came to visit us for about a month and it was really awesome. I, I'm really glad that she was able to visit us. I got to spend a lot of time with family this summer and the vibes were immaculate. I also got to try a lot of new things this summer as well. You know, I tried kombucha for the first time. And if you haven't tried kombucha, y'all have been sleeping on kombucha because kombucha is like really, really, really good. So tried that. I tried a couple of other things. I've been listening to some new music. The vibes are immaculate. What? What? Ripped their energy bell. Oh no! <laughs> Did you really just bump your head? I mean, you just did that! <laughs> How did you know? Because you're all laundry You're a little bit longer, girl. Oh no, my timer's going off. Can I stop there now? There you oh, go. <laughs> Recently too, I actually got to visit my other older sister who lives in Indianapolis. And it was my first solo road trip. Up. So yeah, I had the opportunity to, you know, see family, see my sisters, and it's been a great summer overall to say, but with that too, there's also been some interesting moments this summer, and let me get into that. I've come to the realization that I have, um, coma de say, generalized anxiety disorder. I actually recently talked to my doctor and I am now on Zoloft. 
so that way I don't be all depressed and anxious. So currently on Zoloft, I've been on it for, I think this is about my third or fourth week on it now. Um, we have to take it like once a night. Um, the first two weeks of it, cause a lot of times when you first start taking like new meds, you get like a ton of side effects. One of the main side effects I had was a bit of fatigue and a lot of tiredness, I would say. I was definitely more tired the first two weeks, but I think the meds are like really starting to work for me. And I'm really happy that, you know, I was able to come to this decision to, you know, help myself and to better my mental health. I know I just got like really serious for a second, but this is also what I love to do is to talk to you guys. I don't really get to do this a whole lot on my channel. So I really want to like, you know, share what I've been dealing with, you know, stuff that I don't show on the vlogs. So yeah, I deal with generalized anxiety disorder and I'm a bit depressed sometimes, but we're on meds. We're actually starting therapy next week, which is really, really exciting. I'm so excited. Therapy is awesome. I highly recommend therapy. Um, it can be expensive. Um, a lot of times there are opportunities to to find therapy that is cheap that is also good i'm really blessed that my school has a personal counseling program which is what i'm going to be doing my therapy through so my school has a personal counseling program which has free therapy sessions if you're a student there so i definitely took on that opportunity and now i have a therapy appointment like next week during the first week of classes so i'm really excited to like you know finally talk to somebody and to like finally be vulnerable talking about things i'm really glad I was able to share with you guys. Um, so that's kind of like my life updates for this summer and what's been going on. Lastly, real fast, I did want to talk about the school year that's coming up and Miss Thing and just the world in general because life is a little crazy right now. <laughs> to say the least. The intent was that this semester was gonna be like normal in person. Yay, back to normal vibes, post pandemic vibes. It sort, of, it sort of has that kind of vibe still, except with spicy pandemic vibes. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes any sense, that probably doesn't. You know, the, the thought was everybody was gonna get vaccinated. What well, we thought everybody was gonna get vaccinated, but that they didn't. So now we have to wear a mask indoors again, which is totally fine by the- I've never personally had a problem wearing a piece of cloth over my- It's cloth. It's- I said I wasn't gonna get into it, but I'm getting to it. <laughs> I don't care that we're doing that again. I'm actually glad we're doing it again, be especially with cases going up the way they are. I'm going to be very cautious this semester. I'm obviously gonna be wearing my mask indoors when I'm on campus and outdoors when there's a lot of people. Luckily, I do believe that most of the people on my campus are vaccinated because we kind of had to be in order to like come back to school. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So I'm a little bit worried about that, but I am excited this semester for the classes I am taking, no matter if, they end up being online or not. So I am taking a multimedia class this year, which is very exciting. Yeah, there's a lot of things I'm worried about this semester, obviously with, you know, the whole Pandolce that we're dealing with right now. But I'm also excited because this is my fourth year at IU Southeast. I'll be going for five years, like I mentioned, just to have like, I need a little bit more time. Like I'm still, I still won't be done with every single class I need by the end of the school year. Like originally I was supposed to graduate at the end of the school year, but I'm taking a fifth year because I still need a little bit more time, which is totally okay. Like if you don't graduate in four years, that's fine. That is totally fine. I'm glad I'm taking five years to get my degree done because Personally, I'm mentally, I'm not ready to like, I know what I want to do. I'm at a point now where I know exactly what I want to do with my degree. Like I'm really happy with where I am, but I'm also like not ready to like start adulting adulting yet. <laughs> I'm still a young indie kid at heart. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, anyways, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. New college content is coming soon. I know the, really the only videos on this channel are college content, but that's kind of my life right now. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna upload college content. I know you guys enjoy the college content as well. I do personally myself. It's one of my favorite things to do on this channel, but I also wanna do some more sit down videos like this. So stay tuned. I will do my best to like film as much as I can this semester. I know it's gonna be a busy one. So I really don't expect myself to like have a video uploaded every week but i do want to like get back into the habit of you know making videos and recording and uploading for you guys until then i will see you guys in the next video you guys can subscribe like leave a comment and cut peace out